let me tell you there is a deep connection between yoga and Vedanta. Ye, you only through experience you can know it. What is the connection between yoga and Vedanta? See, in yoga mein hum kehte hain, if you commit pran and mind to the heart center, your awareness will remain continuous and unfluctuating. If your awareness remains continuous, thought is an interruption in that. You will naturally set aside thought. Just like how words are an interruption to your thought process, isn't it? When you are deeply in thought, you do not speak because words are an interruption. So also thought is an interruption to the continuous flow of awareness. You will set aside thought if you manufacture that level of intense augmented awareness. This is the key connecting yoga and Vedanta. It is possible to enter into this knowledge just by going to the very depths of your mind. And that is why yoga gives you this equation. You know the basic equation is mind is equal to thoughts bubbling upon consciousness. So if you remove thoughts, consciousness will remain over. The equation is M is equal to T plus C, where M is mind, T is thoughts, C is consciousness. So C should be equal to M minus T. Consciousness should be equal to mind minus thoughts. Isi ko hum yog kehte Chittavritti nirod means mind minus thoughts. So you see very definite techniques are there for you to arrive at the experience we are talking about. Karna chahiye. All this is about actually doing the thing. Hmm. If you are not doing it, uh, you will not get anywhere. It is not merely about thinking. You can enquire and think after getting established in yoga. Then it will lead you to the truth of the thing. But essentially it is about handling your mind and body in a way which would take you to this essential truth.